What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. My name is Donovan Wagner and today I'm going to show you how you can export really clean usable photos out of your video footage. Alright guys, so if you're anything like me and often enough just run and gun shooting, especially for YouTube, we always tend to prioritize video. So if you don't always have time to take your video shots and then your photos, what you can actually do is export frames from your video footage that will be very usable to actually post as photos for social media and on our phones. Now, this is not necessarily ideal compared to shooting a raw photo, but if you don't have time and you're just trying to make the best of it, I'm gonna show you how we can do that. So let's head over to Premiere Pro and get started. All right, guys, so we're here in Premiere Pro and I've just put a couple of clips in this project for this example. And what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how you can take some video footage and export nice clean photos to share on Instagram or Facebook um, and it'll still look really, really good. So what we're going to do is we're going to play back our footage and find the nicest parts of our clips, which I've already done and put into this timeline here. Now I leave this in 4K because when we go to export these screenshots of the video, if you keep it in 4K, you're going to have more resolution to work with when you're editing the photo. Whereas if you have this in a 1080p timeline and you export it, it's going to be 1080p. It's going to be far smaller. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a nice clean part of this clip. So we're going to play it back and pause it. So let's say that's the part of the clip that I like. It looks pretty good. We go to full screen, make sure that it is in fact pretty sharp. We're going to move it up a couple right there. That looks pretty good. So that's what we want to export as our clip. What I always recommend doing is if you're shooting in a log profile or some kind of image profile that is a flatter, um, I would definitely go ahead and edit this footage as you normally would by putting a LUT or color grading it however you normally do. Um, that'll just help when it comes to the editing a photo because you don't want to be editing photo in flat profiles if you can help it. So we're just going to go ahead and drop a LUT on here just to give us kind of a baseline of what we're looking for here. Perfect. So we're gonna find that part of the clip again and we are going to export that frame so that we can treat it as a photo. All right, so that looks pretty good there. Now what you're gonna do next is you're gonna find this little camera icon right underneath here and it's going to say export frame. Now if you don't have this icon, don't worry, I didn't have it the first time either. All you're gonna do is head over to this little plus sign that says button editor click that and then within here you'll find that little camera icon you'll click that and then click OK and it will appear right here for you. So we've left it in 4K we've kind of color graded it a little bit so we're going to go ahead and we're going to export frame. So I'm going to save this one as LM002 and pick a folder that you know where it's going to be and click OK. Now when you go to that folder you'll see there is a photo. It is saved as a JPEG, so of course it's not going to be like editing a raw photo. But again, this is just not the ideal circumstances for photos, but it's good enough to get by on social media and on your phone. So next step is we're going to go into Lightroom and we're going to import that. So once we've imported that photo, we're going to go ahead and click develop. And now we're just going to treat this like we would any other photo. So you can go ahead and apply a preset. You can go ahead and edit it however you normally would. I'm not gonna go over that too much today. If you guys are looking for ways to edit automotive photos, I will put a link up above right now to my how to edit automotive photos. And basically you'll go through, you'll do all of your adjustments here. You can go into Photoshop, edit it further if you'd like. And then whenever you're done, you're just gonna go ahead and export that. And you'll then see you have a very usable photo. It looks good, you can go ahead and edit it however you'd like. You can get your lasso tool, you can darken the sky, the road, and this photo will actually look so good on social media you'd never know. And just like that guys, a super short little tutorial on how you can get clean usable photos for Instagram and social media. Um, especially on our phones, we overestimate how much resolution we really need. So if you guys are anything like me, run and gunning and didn't have time to take those proper photos, this will definitely be enough to get you by and get some nice clean photos up on your feed. Now, if you guys like this video, let me know in the comments below. And if you guys have other methods of doing the same thing, I'd love to hear them as well. And as always, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.